Chicago food business founded by two women is growing on the city's west side. What uh, they say is what they offer, I should say, is unique allergen free food while serving those in need of a second chance and a job. WGN's Patrick Elwood has a story you'll only see on Chicago's very own. Darren, how you doing? How you doing? Doing all right, doing all right. Doing okay, Miss Sharon? Yeah. I see you running. It is yet another busy afternoon of what could very well be the epicenter of a revolution built upon the evolution of an idea. Allergen-free food under the label, Everybody Eat. It is the brainchild of Trish Thomas and Nicole Wilson, two moms who met at a book club and while coaching startups together at Trish's house, their bright idea began to form, springing from the belly of necessity. You see, as a later in life mom, Trish developed chronic health issues ended up changing my diet. So I took out gluten, dairy, soy, corn, and egg, and I really put all my autoimmune diseases into remission, but there was nothing I could eat. So she started to search for food that she could eat and the rest of the family as well. We'd be eating lunch, <laughs> and I'd be like, do you want to eat this? And she's like, this I is I was not terrible. a gracious guest. <laughs> you an honest consumer? Yes, quite honest. Decades, Nicole worked for PepsiCo with a master's from Stanford. Meet and Bubba over here. <laughs> Fastest hands in the West. She oversaw a $33 billion R&D portfolio. Fritos, Doritos, and more. And Trish, she's got some business chops as well. Starting and selling her first company only four years out of college. So, beginning in 2016, they hatched a plan. They began experimenting in their own kitchens. Food for people with special diets. Free of corn and dairy and soy and nuts and fish and all the top 14 allergens, it's free from, but it's not free from flavor. When 2019 came along, they made the decision to go it alone. Things were going great, and then came the pandemic. For several months, they had to shut it all down. They were stymied, but they were more determined than ever. Every time somebody says, you all can't do it, that's exactly when we said, yeah, we're going to do it. After getting a federal PPE loan, they were back in business by mid-May of 2020. Things were going so well, they moved into this 8,500 square foot facility in the city. If there was ever a light bulb moment, I think in that moment, I started thinking about, okay, when we build this out, we're going to do it right. Doing it right meant employing the right kind of people. Especially because I have uncles, I have cousins who are all in the system. And by the system, she means people who have served time. How are they supposed to feed their families? How are they supposed to make income? People like Frank Jones. In and out of prison four times. Now in his late 40s, he is vowing to never go back to that kind of life. I love it. I love it. I love it. And to be honest with you, it's... It's something that I know that I'm helping other people. You ain't never going back. No, not at all, for no reason. No reason. 41 employees are employed by Everybody Eat. 65% of them have been incarcerated. Some homeless, too. And now they're doing things they've never done before. I've had employees who have gotten their first cars with us. I've had employees who's had their first apartment with us. Everybody Eat makes snack thins and crisp breads in a variety of flavors. Trish and Nicole boast they're so delicious. People without a need for a special diet enjoy them too. They partnered with Whole Foods, Amazon, Mariano's, and soon to be Jewel. They are eyeing a bigger place in the months ahead. Oh, and one last thing to all of those aspiring wannabe young ladies out there. They got a message. The challenges will be many, but you can do this too. You can absolutely do it. It is within you to do it. Patrick Elwood, WGN News. And for more information on Everybody Eat, we have a link along with this story at WGNTV.com. Awful lot of needs being yeah. met there. Cool to see.